But our lead tonight, that plea from Governor Inslee to save lives. It is this. If you are over the age of 60, please shelter in place now. It is a request the governor hopes will stop the spread of the virus that is moving at a rapid pace. Nationwide, the CDC is reporting there are more than 4,200 cases that now span all 50 states. Washington remains one of the hardest states hit. 52. That is now the number of people who have died here. And the number of cases jumped to more than 1,000. The response to the virus is also moving quickly. Since we were last on air, we learned the U.S. and Canada are preparing to close the border to suspend all non-essential travel. We heard a warning that schools could be looking at contingency plans that last into the fall. Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal called on the Navy to dispatch hospital ships to Washington and New York. And the governor issued his shelter in place plea along with this warning. We care about you. We love you. We want you to be around for your grandkids for more years. We certainly do. And tonight, several groups are taking action to help people who are at the greatest risk. Kara Sevens Gary Holker kicks off our team coverage tonight. He's live now on Mercer Island. And Gary, a lot of seniors there, they heard the warning, but they're still out running errands. They are indeed, Monique. We saw a lot of them running errands, and they say they know the risk. And Docs at UW Medicine tell us your risk for coronavirus and serious complications, even death, goes up exponentially for every decade you are older than 60. Well, if you have to get out, some stores all over our area are having special reserved hours in the morning for people 60 and up. But some seniors say they know the risk, but they will not stay home. Among the seniors who heard the governor's firm request for people 60 and over to shelter in place. I'm certainly over 60. Is Werner Glass, who's close to celebrating his 93rd birthday. Werner, who we spotted running errands, has a Ph.D. in science, and he understands the risk of infection for older adults. I agree. I should shelter in place, but gosh... You know, you can spend just so much time sheltering in, in place. Werner lives on Mercer Island, where nearly a third of residents are seniors, and many tell us they will not shelter in place. People like you to shelter in place. What do you say to the governor? I say that's very, very difficult. Harriet Morgan says she appreciates a new plan Safeway, Albertsons, Hagen's, and other grocery stores have to reserve certain store hours for seniors and people with compromised immune systems. Harriet says her husband at home is very vulnerable, but she'll shop for what she needs. It would be very hard for me to say that I was not going to go to a store anymore. I get cooped up and I just got to get out and I didn't mean to go shopping. But uh, I got this far and I looked in and they had some stuff that my wife really likes, so I went and bought it. Werner put his own risk into perspective. You a little worried about this coronavirus at your age? I'm not worried about it. I'm not, you know, I, when you're going on 93, every day is a bonus day. That man's an inspiration, folks, and he survived a lot. By the way, Safeway, Albertsons, Hagen's, Whole Foods, and even Wajamaya encourage physical distancing, but they say if seniors have to get out, they will reserve special hours for people 60 and up. In fact, Whole Foods even has times for shoppers 70 and over to give them more space to shop and help if they need physical help to get their groceries to the car, the pharmacies will all be open. We'll put the times and the places on our website, kairos7.com. Reporting, meanwhile, from Mercer Island, I'm Gary Horker, Kairos 7 News.